Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to continue on the voices and the choices. Devotion number five says, uh, entitled, The Voice Above All Voices. Proverbs 3, verses 6 to 7 says, Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You know, there's so many voices out there. <clears throat> He said, in every, in every circumstances, in every uh, struggles and pain and hurts that we go through in life, he said, don't think your own way, but rather see what God's word has to say before you even act or react or speak or uh, uh, lash out or criticize or, you know, keep quiet. You know, we live in a noisy world, full of voices and choices. But Jesus, our shepherd, calls us by name. He knows every one of us well, far more in, better than we know ourselves, and leads us in the paths that we should follow, whether it is the way we speak, the way we react, uh, the way we act, or even the way we respond to criticism, to pain, to hurt, uh, to sicknesses, diseases, and pandemic, and in relation with people, or even in our workplace. As we are Jesus' sheep, we ought to be able to hear His voice. Why? Because He is constantly speaking to us knocking at the door of our hearts, waiting for us to invite Him into our situation. When we invite Him in our relationship with Him, you know what? We will rest assured that we can hear better. We must be quiet in the midst of all the voices around us, we must quiet the voices around us. The noise around us, lean in and choose to hear the voice of God above all other voices. Meaning, listen one more time, we, you must choose to, to, to hear the voice of God above all other voices. That the only way is to hold back, quiet down, and listen to what His Word is saying. And what God is saying through the word of God. The Bible tells us in Revelation 3 verse 20, Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. I will come in. I will impress in your heart. I will tell you. I will respond to you. I will guide you. I will lead you. And I will tell you what to do and what not to do. And I will share a meal together with you as a friend. I wish that hearing the voice of God is easy. I wish that this was an easy proposition. Our hearts are still full of the clamor of the world and its false value, what the world teaches, what our carnal nature teaches us. Recognizing the true voice of the shepherd is not easy. If you are not in relationship with God, if you have a lot of bitterness in your heart, if you are, you know, Always wanting to hear what you want to hear and refuse to hear what you should and I should be hearing. We recognize the voice of our spouse on the phone since we are in daily relationship with him. Are we? To hear the voice of the shepherd, we need to be in daily devotion with him, a daily uh, uh, in relationship with him. <coughs> it is a rich blessing to hear the voice of the one who knows us deeply and who loves us unconditionally far more than we know ourselves. The Bible says our heart is deceptive above all and sometimes we don't even know our heart. But God does. God do know our heart. The Lord is always speaking and the Lord longs, longs to speak to us personally. He speaks to us in our heart language that we can understand. It's just simple. 
The voice of God is simple. The word of God is what the voice of God is. When you listen to the word of God, you are listening to the voice of God. When the word of God says no, don't do it. If the word of God says forgive, forgive. When the word of God say overlook, overlook. When the word of God say extend grace, extend grace. When the word of God say don't react, don't hit back, don't slander, don't shout, don't condemn, don't blame, don't. And what the God said to you and I, embrace, forgive. You know what? When you do it, you are lifted from the quicksand of bitterness. Won't you invite Him to speak to you and, and then sit quietly and then be still and then listen to what the Word of God says? Sometimes it is a whisper. Many times we expect the voice of God is like a thunder. Sometimes it can be. It is a whisper. Sometimes it is a word of encouragement from the Bible. Sometimes it can be a word uh, of 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 a precaution, a, a, a word of warning from a good friend that they tell you and I be careful how you live. I'm not not just any other friend. A friend that wants the thing for your good. Find a quiet place when you are hurt. Find a quiet place when you are upset, when you are confused. Find a quiet place when you are angry. And open your ears for this important conversation. Share with the Lord and look at the Word of God and see what God has to say to you and I today tomorrow and the next day and every other day in our life when things come our way not the way we expected or when there's so many voices around us that we listen to but choose the voice of God above all other voices in life and then you are wise and smart and you know what you will be blessed and your life will be enriched and you save yourself and myself from a lot of pain and consequences. Amen? So, choose the voice above all voices. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you bless all of us. Help us to learn to be smart. Help us to learn to be wise and careful people. To learn to hear the right voice, the voice of our shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, above all other voices that is around us. We pray that you will bless us with a great day. Help us to look to you more than we look to people, more than we look to circumstances, more than we look to pain and uh, struggles in our life, hurts in our lives. We ask that as we go out today, may this day be blessed and your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you and you have a great, great day.